Hey everybody, my name is Bryce Williams. I'm cinematographer and gaffer at Chateau Rouge Cinema. We are currently at Chateau Rouge Studios, which is our own studio that we have here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Today I'm gonna to show you a lighting setup that we did for two of our clients. First off, I'll start with the key light. So as you know, the key light is your brightest light in your scene. It lights your subject. That's what I have here off to my left. It's an Aperture 200D with uh, the light dome. And the light dome has a grid on it to prevent the spill from the background. Then I have a practical, which is the Aperture B7C bowl. Those are some of my favorite film bulbs and the best practicals you'll ever have on set. And they're CCT and bicolor, and they can change to uh, hue, saturation, intensity as far as HSI goes. Then we have a Pavo tube, which is acting as my backlight, getting motivated from my practical. If you saw the previous video we've done on the page, we've talked about motivating our practical lights. That's what our Pavo tube is doing. Then in my background, for an added level of texture and separation from the background, we have the ProLite Optical Snoot. And the ProLite Optical Snoot is a snoot that has a lens on it. And you can put gobos in it, which is how we get this nice texture on our background. That's the four pane window gobo. And it's in the ProLite Optical Snoot. So not only does my backlight and my practical give the subject, hence me, separation from the background, we also have the added texture and separation using the gobo. Our last light off to right off screen is the Aperture Amaran 200X, which is giving room tone to this entire scene. Without room tone, you have this dark, you know, moody, like level of shadow that covers your entire scene because most lights are directional, like your key light, but that bounce into the ceiling gives you an overall ambience over your entire scene. And that's the lighting system.